Hi, how are you doing? We're Team 17 from Mechanical Design 2. This is a Project 2, which uh, involves making a gearbox for an application. Uh, my name is Mahin Perez. Alejandro Soria is one of my teammates that is not here today, and Jeff Franco Pisano. Okay, we see that the design requirements for this project for us was uh, six horsepower. Uh, the direction of the input and the output shaft have to be in opposite direction. The input RPM is 800 RPM, the output is 40, and therefore our velocity ratio is going to be 20. The application we decided to, to design this for was an electric generator. Okay, uh, the first uh, design consideration we had was a gear, a gear chain kind of like that, uh, as you see there, uh, which would have involved uh, bevel gears here at the beginning and at the end. Um, but we decided to go with the planetary gear system because it makes it more compact, which uh, it was one of the requirements, and also it uses less gears. Okay, now, yeah, uh, Franco uh, Pisan. Well, here is an isometric view of the whole gearbox system. For this part, we have the pinion, three planetary gears, which are identical, and we have a bigger outer ring. These three planetary gears are static, they don't move. We did that in order to be able to make the outer gear rotate in the opposite direction. Here, the, here is the pinion, which is the input, and the outer gear is gonna be the output. Here is a slowly view of the whole system. We have four different parts. We have the pinion, we have the planetary gears, the outer, the outer ring, and the case. The case is gonna hold all the components in it in order to have a compact and more um, simple design and not having all those moving parts um, so you can see them. Right? Okay, so here is the gear selection part. For all gears, we have six, 60 per inch. The pinion is gonna have 20, planets 80, other gear 400. These numbers were obtained by using the velocity ratio, which was 20. Then we have five times four equals 20, and divided by N2, times N2 by N3 is gonna give us the ratio. We assume N3 to be 20, and from there we can calculate N2 equals 80, N3 equals 400. Okay, here we can see that uh, we selected the gears using the Boston gear catalog. Um, the, the way it, the, you select the gears in the Boston gear catalog, you, first you have to base yourself on the, the light shock, uh, which is one of the requirements that the gearbox had to take a, a light shock. Uh, it was rated for H uh, for six uh, HP, which is horsepower, and then you calculate the, the factor of safety. We confirmed this by using the agma analysis and uh, also using the bending stress and the contact stress. Here we have the agma considerations in order to calculate all the the equations and uh, contact stress and bending of the of the gear. We use a 20 degree spur gear. Uh, the pinion speed was set to 800, which was a requirement. Because of that, we have, and um, because of that, and the, and the velocity ratio, we have that the gear speed is gonna be four, uh, 40 RPM. The phase width, what it was used, that we used was two inches. The quality factor was six. The grade of uh, the steel was grade one. It was accurately and rigidly mounted. Uh, the, the life cycle was 10 to the nine, to the power of nine. The reliability was 99.9% uh, in order to have a better, more precision. Uh, there was through harder than a 200 Breno and it was under crown design. Here we have all the calculations uh, for the um, AIMA. Here we have um, bending, we have safety factor for the bending, the contact, the contact wear, and the safety factor for the contact. Here are all the calculations, all the parameters were, were used following AIMA, AIMA equations. Okay, for bearing selection, uh, the model number for the, our for our first bearing is an XL2, which uh, which goes on the shaft, which is three fourths of an inch uh, in diameter. Um, we use the same company as the gears, just for logistical purposes. And uh, based on it, the way you choose the bearings uh, on the Boston Gear catalog, is uh, you first get the radial load, then you get the effective uh, load on the on the bearing. You times that by the application factor, which was 1.45 uh, for light shock, and then you choose the bearing, pretty much. Uh, the, we, we chose a flange model to be attached with bolts to the case. Um, our input shaft was safe up to two, 250 pound force and 1500 RPM and eight for, for 8,000 hours. And consecutively, you can 
can see the, out, the output shaft, we used separate bearings, and the inner shaft for the planets, we, we used separate bearings too, and you can see the values as they are right there. So this is our application, we use it for an electric uh, generator. Uh, wind can obviously rotate the, 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 jet, the, the fan and create energy, go up through the gear set and create energy in the electric generator. Maybe you guys can't see, but the fan is rotating and uh, the gears are working properly to create energy. Thank you very much. Uh, that was our presentation.